Hello, my name is Brent Borup and I would like to tell a little story to you about something that happened to me a while back. Um, when I was 19, I chose to be a missionary for my church, the LDS Church. And um, when you become a missionary, they, they tell you where you're going to be serving. I was serving in the uh, Mexico Monterey South Mission. And uh, before I went down to Mexico, um, I went to a place called the MTC, the Missionary Training Center. Um, now, as a missionary, one of the things I was going to be doing uh, is um, introducing people to the Book of Mormon. Now, I learned how to do that in the MTC. They, uh, they, they taught me Spanish, and we, we learned how to be missionaries, basically. One of the little exercises we did is we um, paired off with uh, a, another missionary, and we shared with them our testimony of the Book of Mormon. Now, one of the exercises was uh, they didn't just want us to tell that the Book of Mormon was true, but tell how we know it's true. Um, and th that was the point where I kind of realized, well, I don't know how I know. I, I just did. And uh, I, I, wanted to, I wanted to know how. I, I wanted some great experience because we were going to be, we be telling people about this book and how they can know it's true by, by praying about it by asking your Heavenly Father sincerely if it's true and the Holy Ghost would let him know. And so I decided, well, I, I wanted that for myself. I, I wanted a, a great experience that I can share with others that I can point to and say, hey, this is how I know. Um, so I did I did, I did just that. I, I, I prayed about the Book of Mormon. I, I asked Heavenly Father if it was true. And I, I felt pretty good, um, but I didn't really feel any different. You see, I, I already knew it was true, so I, I wanted some great experience, some some grand life-changing event that, that, that would tell me this is true. And I just didn't get that. Um, so I, I kept praying, and I fasted, and I prayed some more. And um, like I said, I, I felt fine. I felt good, but um, nothing, no big event. Um, one day I was reading my scriptures, and I read this, this verse that said... Uh, Behold, I will tell you in your mind and in your heart by the Holy Ghost. And right when I, I read that verse, that, that word mind, it, it's like a light bulb went in, on in my head. And, and it said, well, duh, you know, this, I know in my mind that it's true. That's, that's the way I feel the Holy Ghost. Um, see, I, I see those people in church and they bear their testimonies and they get all choked up and they cry. And that's just not me. I, I don't do that. I, I, I've never felt that burning in my bosom that I hear described. Uh, but I knew in my mind, it was, it was very clear. I was confident about it. I, I knew that it was true. And so that satisfied me for a bit. Um, a, a while later, I went down to Mexico. I flew down there and it was a great experience. Uh, I jumped right into the culture, to the language, uh, learned to love the people. And most of the time I was actually teaching people um, that other members would re refer us to. Um, every now and then, there was nothing to do, so we'd go and we'd, we'd knock on doors and we'd meet people that way. Uh, one day we were doing that, uh, my companion and I, and we were knocking doors and trying to teach people about the Book of Mormon. Um, uh, one guy let us in his home, and we went in there to teach him, and uh, uh, he told us that he was just passing through town. That actually wasn't his home, um, but he was there and his friend was gone, so he let us in and we started talking, and we we talked about uh, our Heavenly Father, God, and that He is our Father and we are His children. And we talked about Jesus Christ, that He is our Savior. Uh, we talked about how God, God teaches us through prophets. And then we told him about Joseph Smith. And that's the point where I could tell he was getting a little bit uh, skepti skeptical. Um, he uh, didn't quite believe us there. And then we I told him about the Book of Mormon. And at that point he says, oh, well, you know, Guys, uh, sorry, but I'm just going to have to stop you. I don't want to waste your time. I'm not really inter interested in this. And so we, we, uh, we ended, and, uh, and we thanked him, and we left. Um, that was okay with us because uh, we had an, a lunch appointment we had to get to, and it was still about a mile away, and, and we were walking. Um, so as we were walking to our appointment, I kept thinking about this guy. And it, it, it was just really bugging me that I... I couldn't finish my presentation, that uh, I, I couldn't really testify of this book. And I was thinking about that for quite a while, and I was just walking, and we were about halfway to our lunch appointment, and something just hit me really hard. And 
uh, I stopped walking and my companion looked at me and goes, what you doing? And I said, you know what, we gotta go back. And at first he was kind of like, but you know, lunch is, I'm hungry, but um, I said, no, no, we, we really gotta go back. He says, okay, but you're doing all the talking. And so we walk back and I knock on the door and I remember seeing this guy open the door and look kind of confused that we were back. And I don't really remember exactly what I said, um, but a very powerful feeling came over me. I, I testified very clearly to him that the Book of Mormon was true and that he needed it. That I needed, I needed to give this Book of Mormon to him and he needed to read it. I asked if he would, and he said that he would. And um, at, at this point, you know, I'm assuming that's what I said to him. I don't really remember exactly. I just remember something very, very powerful. I remember this feeling overcame me that made me turn around and go back to his house and made me testify to him of the book and made me leave it with him. Um, this, you know, I find it interest, interesting that when I was in the MTC, praying for some big experience, some feeling in my heart, um, I did not receive that. I didn't need it. I, I knew in my mind already. All I needed was a little reminder that I already knew truth. That, that what I thought was true actually was true. Um, at this point, uh, on that Mexican road that afternoon, um, as I was walking away, I needed something much stronger. Um, God needed to physically turn me around, and that's what He did. Um, I Something very powerful, some awesome power over, overcame me, made me turn around and testify to this man. And it was powerful, and I did feel that. Um, and I, I was able to testify with knowledge that I know was from the Holy Ghost telling me to tell this man that the Book of Mormon is true. Um, you know, I've had lots of experiences through my life, much after that experience, uh, that, that tells me that um, the church is true. You know, um, I, I've I've known a lot of people who who have stopped going to church, who have fallen away from the church, and I've come to realize that um, much of what they are are turning away from wasn't uh, the the basic truths, but um, you know, Mormon culture, um, things that they think they they learn, but they they just need to learn a little bit more. Um, I know for a fact that the the Book of Mormon is true, that God does call prophets um, to teach us. Uh, most importantly, that Jesus Christ is our Savior. I, I want to, uh, I just wanted all of you to know that. Um, and I know that all of you can know those things too by, by praying and asking Heavenly Father. It, it, it worked for me, and it'll work for you too. Uh, thank you.